Bigger screen, rounded edges, slimmer body. Every new smartphone attempts to outdo the last one, but they all end up sporting the same basic design. Time to shake things up. I'm Vanessa Handariana, and today I'll be counting down the top five craziest looking smartphones you can buy. Starting in at number five, the Samsung Galaxy S6 Edge. All right, so our definition of crazy here at CNET may be a little lax, but there's no arguing that the slight curves on either side of its screen have managed to turn heads. And while the Note 4 Edge boasted a similar design, two curves are better than one, and they serve a completely different purpose on this S6. Now let's be real here, they're mostly for show, but this phone certainly edges out the competition in the looks department. And speaking of curves, number four on our list is the LG G Flex 2. With its arch silhouette and flexible display, it's slightly more exotic than the previous contender and cheaper. This is the second curved phone LG releases, and I'm still not clear what purpose it serves as it has no added functionality to its arch, but perhaps LG was merely trying to prevent an iPhone 6 Plus-like fiasco by preemptively molding the phone to your Relax! I was gonna say back pocket, jeez. And coming in at number three, the Oppo N3. It looks like a hybrid between a little 80s robot and a smartphone, but those aren't really eyes on the top, it's actually a rotating camera that moves according to the subject. So for all you selfie lovers out there, and you know who you are, this means you can capture every last pixel of your lovely face on the phone's main, and only, 16 megapixel camera. It gets an A for effort, but the phone itself is not quite as good as its camera. Not crazy enough for you? How about number two on our list, the dual-screened Yoda Phone 2. And that's Yoda with a T, guys, sorry. This two-faced phone has a 5-inch main screen in full color and full HD and an e-ink display on its backside. The idea is that you'll be able to do all your reading on that second screen and check basic notifications without draining the battery of the phone itself to stream hours worth of CNET videos on the main screen. It's a cool concept, but it's also not cheap. And what if you forget to close out of the page you were reading on the back display? The person sitting in front of you has full <gasps> view of that foot fungus article you left open. But the craziest looking smartphone by a landslide has to be the Runcible. This is a phone with a design as strange as its name. Seriously, what does Runcible even mean? It was crafted to look like an old pocket watch, or fob watch, for all you Doctor Who fans. And while it has all the basic functions of a smartphone, it's free of all those pesky alerts and notifications that seem to saturate our screen and interrupt our downtime. When you're ready to check it, your notifications will appear as bubbles on the screen that grow as more come in. Everything from the bubbles to the wooden back panel seems so zen-like. But who are we kidding? I doubt round phones will catch on anytime soon. So there you have them, five phones that dare to break the mold. For more specs on these phones, head over to phones.cnet.com or tweet me with some of your picks for crazy looking phones. I'm Vanessa Handariana and thanks for tuning in.